so now that we have our basic um, template for the website kind of up, what we're going to do is we want to add um, some styling to make this maybe look a little bit better or the, for easier potential to look better, as well as adding a um, navigation bar that will be on every one of these pages. So first we'll go ahead and um, create that navigation bar. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to, in our templates folder, we're going to create another page called base.html. And here we're going to add the navigation bar that will be a part of every page. Okay. So um, to begin, we can just do this with like um, a very with some very basic HTML code, I guess. Like we could um, just have I don't know. Uh, if I if I just have this. Uh, as the content of this base HTML uh, page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this in these other pages and I can stick it in the top of these other pages. Now here we're going to be using this template um, language. So I'm also going to have to tell it that below this information there's going to be some content. Uh, so I just have to say block content and then I'll say um, n block. All right, now this is just, again, like what this is doing is this is saying that there's going to be some additional content um, injected into this template. And for example, if I come to my about page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put that base uh, file here by extends uh, base.html and then I will tell it that this is where that content is so this is the content and after this we're done All right, so let's just see if that uh, worked for um, for the about page. If I now have like uh, some additional content on top of this in the about, um, yeah, and you see that this like that little piece that I uh, wrote in the base HTML file has been stuck in the top and then I have the content injected below it. All right. And that's the idea is that we're going to put every one of these HTML files will extend that base HTML um, template and we'll have a nav bar element up top. So to make a nav bar, we're actually going to use uh, an existing set of CSS. Um, we'll call it uh, we'll use this bootstrap which is a popular uh, set of existing CSS and JavaScript and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab the CSS and I'll copy this and this is supposed to go inside of your head so that means a head tag. So if I come into my base file, I'm just going to delete that content. And now I'm going to say head, paste that. All right, and save it. And now if I, just with that, um, if I come back to this page and reload it, you should see a slight change in the styling of it. Okay. And we see bootstrap being applied there. So that doesn't really, I mean, that's not incredibly exciting, but what we can do is use bootstraps, uh, nav bars. And they have existing, like this is a navigation bar for a website, right?
and we can actually get this to appear in ours because the CSS that they're using here, we just inherited using that URL. Um, so I'm going to look for just a basic, uh, this one's pretty straightforward. And you can see where the text that's rendered is. Here's the home features pricing, right? This one's disabled. So I'll copy this and um, I'm just going to change it a bit. So we'll add that here. And I'm just going to take out that one that was disabled. And I'm going to also um, change the name instead of nav bar. I want it to say something like my website. Um, I'll have the home. I'll have about and I'll have contact. Oops. And then I'll save that. All right, but that's really, I mean, that's what this bootstrap stuff is, is good for, is that it allows you to kind of use a template and apply some nice CSS that you can look at um, in the documentation, like whatever kind of thing you want on your site, there's some sort of styling that bootstrap has to make it look a little bit nicer all right this is just a kind of quick easy way to not have to be writing a whole bunch of css uh, in javascript so let's see if that um if that nav bar is rendering and should just be yeah looks like it is okay so now I have my nav bar. And if I, I just need to make sure that I've done that on all of the templates where, um, so in about I extend the base and then I have this block content and end block and I'll need the same thing in my contact. So, you know, And same thing in my um, in my home page. All right, and now um, the last thing I want to do is actually go and add some links to the items on um in the nav bar so like this is the home page its reference uh should be just to home and about should be to about and contact should be to contact and let's save that and see if that worked There we go. Okay, so there's the basics of the site and all the links are working. Um, yeah, and the templates are moving uh, content across those views, these these HTML files, right? We've got that uh, nav bar moving across it. And I think that you have really just about everything you need now to um, populate the site with a bunch of different content and play around with things like um, bootstrap elements um, like forms, uh, like buttons, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can uh, inject onto your cards are really good. Uh, use these regularly to hold content. Um, but yeah, just take a Take a look and try and add some content, and then we'll we'll dig in more uh, in class on Wednesday.